So something that's going on um, in the media right now is singer actress Janelle. Janelle? Janelle. Yep. <laughs> Janelle. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Janelle Monet. Okay, so she parodies uh, Michael Jackson's famous balcony moment. So if none of you remember, back in 2001, Michael Jackson was kind of like in a low place. Um, he had his son Blanket with him, and he wanted to show the paparazzi and his fans, his son, and he puts him over the edge of a balcony like a few stories up, right? It was a huge controversy when it happened because the baby was only nine months old. Well, anyways, Janelle Monet, she went and did the same thing, dressed up like him, had a black wig, had a red shirt, and she was put her cyber dog actually over the balcony with a blanket over it, kind of just parodying <laughs> the moment, the pop culture Gosh. moment. Um, and actually, it was really funny. Uh, many of you don't know, but she has like a really silly sense of humor and it's kind of out there and she just was showing off her creativity oh you know my goodness. but the thing is many many fans got offended of they course. were um bugging because they said you know michael jackson died 15 years ago he wasn't in a great place when he did that why are you making fun of him it's pretty classless that you're doing that um and then she ends up deleting it so i want to say you know i i showed both of you guys the video off air right now right what are your guys' thoughts on this video i mean and remember this is, wasn't a baby th that she did it with. This wasn't an doll. It was her cyber dog. Okay. It's okay. <sighs> Man, first things first. I cannot believe it's been 15 years, you guys. It's time goes by so fast. I know. It just hit me when you just said he's been gone for that long. Wow. Okay. To your point. Hindsight, I look at it and I go, it's... It's jokes. And the thing is, it's not even like a real person. It's a cyber dog. Come on, y'all. Like, I mean, let's be real. Like, it's a fake machine. I mean, it's, it's a machine. It's not even a real person. That's what I mean to say. Like if it was a baby or it's, even a real dog. Right. So that's point number one. Point number two. I know Beyonce has her beehive. So I expect Michael to have not only a beehive. He has like a clan. <laughs> like right, this is right. this is Michael Worldwide. Jackson. We talk about <laughs> so so that's expected, and and I understand their point of view that you know this man's been gone, and you know why are you making fun of someone who can't even defend himself? He's no longer here, type of deal. But at the same time, like it's in good fun. It's not a real baby. It's a robot dog. <laughs> She's having fun with it. It's sort of like, so I kind of think like when people do the whole Halloween and they dress up as people or they do like little skits from movies sure. and it's like someone stabbing someone like they're Freddy Cougar or something sure. like that. We know it's fictional, right? But at the same time, like these people aren't going to actually go out and do this. They're just reenacting. Right something right and i don't know if that's a good example but that's kind of like where my mind goes like what's the difference like you know this person is not gonna go out and become well, freddy cougar they're just <laughs> i mean the difference is freddy cougar is a character he where is. michael jackson you know is is was a real life person understood yeah and understood. that happened in his real life and i think i'm just looking at the the act right mm -hmm. the act is it is fixed the it is a character but like i'm looking at it from the standpoint of an act and not just real person character. I'm looking at it as when you look at two acts, right? You're looking at it from, hey, let's reenact something. Even if it's fake or not, I just want to reenact me stabbing you. Someone could take that the wrong way and go, I know it's a movie, Marissa, but man, you look crazy. Why are you doing that? And you could just be like, it's just a movie. Like, you know, oh my gosh, you know, and Someone will get it. They'll go, oh, yeah, she's just reenacting that scene from that movie or like, you know, um, and, and that's pretty much it. Take it for that. Cool. Well, OK, so I think you're I think that when it originally happened, it was a huge pop culture moment. I mean, all the news and he cycles, got through it. all the news cycles were talking about it. You know, all the morning shows were talking about it. Late night shows. I mean, it was a huge thing. And we're talking about it 15 years later. That's how huge it was. Right. Right. So or more than 15 anyways right. so i kind of think it was really funny i actually think it's really funny that she did it um i don't see the harm in it no she's, i don't see the harm in she's it she's really not making fun of michael jackson she's just recreating a moment like that is a pop culture embedded moment 
And for some of you all who don't know, Janelle Monet has humor. She's funny. Yeah. Like a quirky if, humor if, too. Yeah. If you follow her or you've just been in her presence, been to any of her concerts, you know she's very, very funny. For so. her to even have a cyber dog is hilarious. Exactly. She was walking down the Paris streets and the cyber dog was following her. Like <laughs> she's just funny in general. She's That's, having a good time. Exactly. Like, what, what's wrong with that? And, like, to me, it's even funny because it's a cyber dog. Like, it's not even real. Like, it's, 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 it's comedy. It's, so, it's funny. So do you think she should have deleted it? Or do you think that she should have um, stood on business and kept it up? And not, like, let the haters win and deleted it? Well... I get why she deleted it. I mean, I probably just would have left it. Just me. Me personally, I probably would have just left it. Like, whatever, haters. Y'all going to like me regardless. But in her standpoint, I get it. She may have new music coming out. Some of these may be her fans, and they may be opposed to supporting any future projects she has. Mm -hmm. Music, mm -hmm. movies, you know, because Janelle Monet also acts. She's a great actor so mm -hmm. um, or actress, you know. Mm -hmm. So... She may also be thinking, may this prevent me from getting future jobs, you know? Okay. So what it makes me think is that since she deleted it, did somebody from the Jackson family hit her up and was like, hey, very you know, I, you know, I know you're doing this and all fun, yada, yada. Um, could you I didn't think down? about that. So, I mean, if any of them hit her up and asked her to take it down, I could see her taking it down immediately. Um, but other than that, I don't know why she took it down. Yeah, I mean, and, and uh, it, it's sort of like, I mean, we, we're kind of, it's funny, we're, we're somehow always going back to this. I always try to leave Drake alone, but I mean, <laughs> I mean it's sort of like when Drake had the I, I, uh, AI Tupac and oh, AI Snoop. Completely and then, different. And then the family was like, uh, boy, you better take that stuff oh, down. Oh, okay. You I know, see. Um, I see. We didn't. I, I didn't know about it until it was gone. I went to go look for it one day and I was like, what happened, Drake? This is a diss record. And then it comes out in the news that the family so i i Honest, definitely didn't think about that so. with that drake song is better that it's deleted and gone because <laughs> that was a bad song like he thought it hit and it didn't so you just should delete it because that was embarrassing it was so embarrassing so oh, that's all i gotta say <laughs> moving along it just it just brought that in my head for a second but you know because i mean i get it when families don't like certain things i mean they do have the power especially if they have the estate of that person, you know, it's more out of respect. It, it's it's I more mean, out of respect. I understand. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought it was funny. I, I didn't really think anything of it. Like I thought it was funny, and I think she should do more skits oh. with this cyber dog. She should do more skits. I'm excited for her and her, oh, sure her robot will. canine friend. 